Hi, my name is Verla Harrell. I, you may ask me, why do I paint? Oh my, I just have to paint. I, I love to paint, but I've painted with a lot of different mediums. But in the last couple of years, I have found some things that I've just kind of fallen in love with. And I just wanted to share it with you. Um, one of the things that I'm showing you today is the Farber Castle watercolor pencils. I've used different brands, but I think these pencils have such strong, strong pigment that, and another thing about them, when you sharpen them, they don't break as easily. When you wet them, they don't break as easily. So I'm going to show you how to use those. But the important part that I want to show you is how neat they are to use on Terra skin. You know, because I teach, I try to get different kinds of things to test for my students before I have them do it. And so I wanted to try this Terra skin. And Terra skin is crushed stone, no trees. And so I took this piece of Terra skin and I experimented. This is with acrylic tube paints. That's what that, that one is. And it just was awesome how good it went. Well, then my ink, I used my little Micron ink that's a permanent. It doesn't like the ink as well. doesn't. And then the pastel is pastel chalk. And that did not do as well either. Well, then, because I love watercolor, watercolor is my favorite medium, I tried that. And look at that. It was, it didn't want to do anything. I was frustrated with it, but I learned something that has helped me tremendously. And so if you try to tear it, well, one thing that's neat about it, you can't tear it, it doesn't buckle, so it's, it's good for that. But I found that if I took this Mr. Clean scrubber and dipped it in water, soaked it up really, really good and squeeze it out, well, I've already done this two times, but I do it three times and I rub it hard. I rub it hard. Now, you know, you have to feel of the Terra skin paper because one side of it is real smooth and the other side is a little bit rough. So that's the side that you rough up really, really good. And then after I've done it the third time, then I go ahead and set it aside for 24 hours before I paint. But I have to tell you something I do. I do a little X right in the corner so that it reminds me that this thing has totally been scrubbed and it's ready to be painted on. Awesome. I have to tell you with the watercolor pencils, one thing that I did is I did this. This is what I see out my kitchen window. This is what I see, those mountains out there. So this one is done on Terra skin. This one is done on watercolor paper. And this one is with the tube paints. That's with tube paints. But this one is just watercolor pencils. And I want to show you the three different ways that you can use the watercolor pencils. But you can see on the watercolor paper, it isn't as brilliant. It will take many layers to get on that. On this, with the Terra skin, it's amazing how few layers you can do and the vibrancy of color. And this is the neat thing about it. When I look, this is the original, this is my print from my printer. This is unreal. You can hardly tell a difference. So it's awesome to do stuff on Terra skin, but this one is done with my tube paints. And I have to tell you, I very often will use, um, with now this one is the water with the two paint on the terra skin and then you'll see up here see the darkness you'll see some of this brightness i love american journey um watercolors from cheap joe's and i also use his sticks see in this dark dark part and then this because it's terra skin look i can lift out that color I can lift out that in the water. I can lift out the clouds and you get this awesome thing. This is my Daisy. Well, it's my kid's dog, Daisy. And I just love Daisy and she loves me and I wanted to do this on Terra skin, so I did it on Terra skin. Well, you see the little tiny dots in the eye? I could have lifted that, but this time I used my little white watercolor brush or pencils and just made the little dots in the eye. It's just awesome to do. 
of animals or portraits on Terra Skin because you can lift, like you can take your your brush, your paintbrush, and you can just take the take the uh, the brush and just lift the paint out and just blot it. It's it's just awesome because it just lifts so good and just wipe it on your thing and then just lift out wherever you need to. Maybe to lift out a little bit more on his little nose. Make a little bit of light on his nose. It's just awesome. Then I'll take a little paper towel and just blot it. Is that neat? Oh, let's see if we can lift out a little bit on his little tongue. Give him a little highlight on his tongue. It's just and you just keep doing it till it's enough to suit you. And it just, it's awesome. So I'll tell you what, you just can't hardly beat Terra Skin. When you learn how to deal with it, so you scrub it first, and then you can just do about anything you want to do on your Terra Skin. So that's my daisy. Now I want you to see this picture because this picture is nothing but watercolor sticks. And, you know, when you travel, they don't like you to have the tubes on the flights. So when I travel, I just take my watercolor pencils and some Terra Skin, and you can paint away. Now, this little, this little uh, guy here, this is with watercolor paint. But then my watercolor pencils went in all of these little places on his eyeballs. Different things that you can do with watercolor pencils that just accentuate what you're doing. So I'm going to, oh, and then <laughs> my favorite brushes are silver black velvet. And the reason they are, and I also get these from Cheap Joe's, number two, four, and eight. And then I do a three quarter inch flat uh, square one. And the reason I like these is because they carry so much water, so much pigment. A lot of brushes, you're just going back and forth because you can't get enough pigment. So this is this is just awesome. Well, I started a little picture because I wanted you to see from my little arrangement here that I've got, I've just started it. I want to show you three ways to use your watercolor pencils. So there are three different ways. You can take this and you can do this flower sticking out here with it just dry see you're just doing it just dry or you can take your little brush and you can wet this brush and then wet your on both sides of your watercolor stick and then you can come in here and you can paint like so with your watercolor brush then the third way that you can use this that's just awesome. Just take your watercolor pencil and roll it in the paint. And then you can come up here and look at the vibrancy of color you get. And you can just move that thing around and draw that. It's just awesome. Now you can see that usually when you paint watercolor, it'll as it dries, it will fade a little bit. You can see here where I painted some orange. I'm going to I'm going to bring this in here because some of those little flowers on my table are really pretty orange. So I'm going to wet this orange and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to brighten these up. And one of the things after you've made a few little spots, it'll um you, you'll have to keep wetting your pencil because it as it goes on the terra skin paper, it uses it dries up pretty quick. Now you can see some of these over here that need to have some yellow centers. I'm going to take some of this yellow and I'm going to wet it. Oh, look at this down here, this little one that I started. It needs to have some yellow right in the circle, right in the middle. And look what I can do. I can just bring that yellow right in there and make the little circle. Um, let's do that over here and we'll... We'll bring this in now what I'm what I'm gonna do because we need to make sure that this bottom thing is not floating I don't like to have my stuff float it needs to have a base so I'm gonna I wet this pencil just like this soak it up good twist it around so it's good and soaked and I don't damn I don't blot it or anything I just go right on here we're going to make this stuff so it's sitting on the table. So we're going to go right underneath this little doily 
and we're going to come here. Then I'm going to come back in with my brush and I'm just going to very, very carefully, very, very lightly touch the Terra skin. I would want to leave it dark right underneath, but I don't want to have hard edges further down. So you very softly, you don't have to hurry, take your time. You don't have to hurry, just relax. Just take your time and just blot that and just smooth it out, but leave it nice and dark. I would like to pick this up and show it to you, but I can't do that because Terra skin, while you're working, must be continued to lay flat. If you don't lay it flat, the stuff will run and you'll have a mess. So don't have a mess. Just take your time. Now you see my little doily here? Well, we need to have some darks in there. So I'm going to come here with my pencil. And this pencil is already wet. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm just going to make some of those holes that shows my table underneath because then it makes my doily pretty. I love to do crocheted things. You, you can do all kinds of things when you've got your Terra skin. You just choose, you know what, paint what you love. If something inspires you, paint. You know, the, I have to tell you what's really neat with these watercolor pencils. This is really good for you to go sit outside and draw on a little piece of Terra skin and just draw it, just draw it. Just, just enjoy drawing. And then what you can do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw on this, but this is a little bit damp. So I'm gonna come back in here with some gold because I want you to see when I've drawn on here, just like this, I've just sketched this. I We can pretend this is a tree, but it's not a tree. It's a little pot that somebody... So I've just drawn the, on there. Well, then all I simply do to... See, that looks kind of messy. Well, you just simply take your brush and you just simply smooth it out. And look at all that gorgeous color that looks like you've worked on that forever. Is that fun or what? What on earth could be more fun than that? Doing your Terra skin like that. I can, you know what? This thing isn't done, but when it is done, look at the little piece that you can end up with. Or you can do a card. You can do the sign your name to it, and it's yours, and you can send somebody a birthday card. i got to show you this one. This is one of my favorite because I have a friend who took this photograph I think she said it's in New Hampshire. This is the original. This is watercolor. It isn't with the sticks. It's with my tube paints. But then this is the copy. And you, you, this is what's printed on my printer. You cannot hardly tell the difference. So it's awesome what you can do with Terra Skin. And here's my, uh, I love these sticks that um, Cheap Joe has one thing that's so neat about both these pencils and these sticks they're very very intense pigment very very strong i'm just going to show you here just on one of these rocks this is my stick and i'm just wetting it now i have to tell you you can use these sticks the same way you can use a watercolor paper you can use them dry or you can use it with your brush or you can use them like this i'm going to take this and just do just a little bit of darkening right here on this. I'm just going to do just a little bit of darkening at the bottom of this rock. Because that could be just a little bit darker to suit me. You know, when you look at stuff sometimes. But I've got to lay it flat. Because if I don't, it's going to run. But the sticks are awesome. And those are from Cheap Joe's too. I love Cheap Joe's. Um, I advertise for them right now because I love their stuff and they're so good to help you with stuff. Well, folks, I sure hope you, that you've maybe been inspired for Terra Skin. I thank you for stopping by today. And if you have any questions or any comments, I would appreciate it and I'll try to respond to you. Thank you.